So these two are playing. That's Grizzy and Nala. Um, once Nala goes into heat next, she will be bred with Grizzly, I'm pretty sure. I think that's who I'm going to use with her. <laughs> He's a little nervous at first, but this is how you get him. Oh, look at her. She's so sweet. Nala's very sweet. Good girl, Nali. Oh, goodness. She's a pretty girl, huh, Grizz? Yeah. So she didn't want to go out, so I figured I'll let Grizzy come out and play. Nala goes out with her mom and dad. Uh, Ebby's kind of... She's a great girl, but... Um, outside, she could get wound up easy, so I... I kind of limit her of who goes outside with her, just because she gets all wound for sound. Is that a girl, Griswold? So, these guys may have some beautiful chocolate Merrill puppies, but who knows? Maybe someday. Uh, Grizzly will be a year next month. He said, oh goodness lady. Uh, but we, all, we are going to use Hurley for breeding too. But I want to use different studs this time. <laughs> I don't want to use the same stud for the for all of them. It gives a different, they all color, carry colors, different colors. Like Grizzly carries a whole set of different colors than Hurl and uh, Far and even Diesel. He's so excited to see her. Isn't she a pretty girl? Yes, she is. Oh. But Fiona cannot understand why we're disrupting her nap. So Grizzly was in his kennel kind of like barking at her, but I, he's the kind that barks because he's, come on, hey, come, come, come see me kind of bark. Uh, he's not aggressive. Thank goodness all our guys are not aggressive. Um, and Nala's super sweet, like her dad far. Kind of chunky like him too. What you doing, Violet? Oh, having second breakfast? Ready to go out and play, Chubby? So, this is what I get stuck doing. Filling in holes. This is an impressive one. Yep. So this pallet was on there. I moved it. Look at how they dig. They are very good at digging holes. Yep. We don't know who did it though, do we, Grizz? Violet's in heat, so Grizzy noticing. Uh, she just, she's not full-blown heat, so we won't have him out with her when she, obviously, when she is, because she's too young. Hi, handsome fella. Yes, you're awful pretty boy. But yeah, I'm out uh, doing poop or scooping. That's part of having uh, a million dogs. And then these guys are hunting for anything. Sometimes they find frogs. It makes their day. Hi, huh, Grizzly Wall. But now I've got to uh, fill in this hole so they can dig me another hole. Perks of the job, I guess. Can you fill it in, Grizzly? Can you do that for Mom? Grizzly boy? Watch him fall through. <laughs> yeah, I caught Ebby out here, actually, digging Ebby Farley. Farley had dirt on his nose, too. They're naughty kids, huh? How you big galoot? You are such a big girl. She's a pretty girl, too. Yes, you're awful pretty girl. Thank you for getting your slobber all over my shirt. Appreciate that. Yep. Grizzly said, oh my goodness. He's just realizing his best friend's in heat. <sighs> Once she's prime. So what it is, is they start a heat and then actually like... Mm, I want to say day 10 or 11 is kind of like when the prime mating breeding occurs there's a whole like um, it's a butterfly do you see that whole thing to it but that's normally when some of them are later than that but usually that's a good time to if you're gonna make sure they're separated and I will because I don't want I don't want any babies from her yet she's a baby herself even though she's huge Oh, 
horsing around. Best friends. Oh, she's she got to get him. Oh, no wonder he's always so dirty. Oh, Grizzy, you handsome Bella. <laughs> oh, oh, Griswold, that wasn't nice. That's what I get for laughing, huh? You showed me. Uh, so, I got the other bed in. This is for uh, Daisy's kennel. And once I get this together, everybody will have their beds for now until uh, until uh, Benson outgrows hers and gets a bigger kennel, too. Fiona, you going to help me do this one? Hey! You going to help me put together hers? No, you're tired. What are you tired for? I'm the one that mowed all the grass, cleaned out all the dogs' rooms, kennels, vacuumed the stairs, mopped. And you're the tired one? Get out of here. Get out of here. You're so fabulous, you know that? If I'm ever reincarnated, I want Fiona's life. I don't even think this little stinker is going to help me put this bed together. Are you, you little turkey? Yeah. We'll see how Daisy likes it. I got some special stuff for you. He said he's willing to try it. Tell me what you think. Oh, so I forgot. I started to tell you guys an update about Miss Peaches <laughs> uh, last week or the week before. And I got sidetracked. I get sidetracked easy. So you notice she's still skinny looking. We didn't end up getting her spayed the morning of her spay. I got her in a bigger kennel at night. I work morning shift that day. So I got her in a bigger kennel so she wouldn't be, you know, in something like a cat carrier overnight. And um, I just told my husband all he has to do is um, put her in the cat carrier and bring her in. Well, it didn't go so well. He uh, went to pick her up and she attacked him and bit through his leather gloves. So we missed the appointment. Um, she barely lets me touch her still. She's so mean. She does like catnip, and so does a cheddar. So, my new plan is I have <clears throat> borrowed my daughter's cat carrier, which is fairly bigger, and I'm going to have to do it because I have rescheduled her spay. It's this month, and uh, I got to get her spayed. Yeah, you're such a brat. She's such a beautiful cat. Um, but I want to get her spayed, her little boy... Cheddar's getting older, and he has to get a little snip snip too. But he's but he lets us pick him up and love on him. She just she still doesn't. So um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I just pray to God she doesn't go into heat between now and September, whatever is uh, her appointment. So I got the old catnip. I'm gonna. I just got this at the dollar store, actually. There is no more dollar stores. It's dollar twenty-five, but they love it. So I just want to try it out to make sure she's gonna like it, and she does. So I'm gonna try to lure her in the cat carrier with a little bit of catnip, some wet cat food, and see if we can't get this girl spayed. I was so upset. My husband was too because he knows I was relying on him to get it, get her get her in there. But I know she attacks. She's attacked me before when she didn't want to be. Um, I was just trying to deworm her that day. She did, she uh, she put a hurt down on my legs, that's for sure. But um, we still are trying to get it done. So while she's under, they're going to get her up to date on her shots too. So hopefully we're going to try to get that little girl squared away. And then we'll have this little man to bring in. I should just bring them in together, but I just want to focus on her right now. Sylvester's P.O.'d. 
because he had his catnip and they came out. It's almost like when you put it on the driveway that no matter where they are, they smell it and come trap down and find it. But that was the update I forgot to tell you guys about. <sighs> She's such a villain. I do love her. She catches mice. She caught a little baby mouse. Well, they played with it to death and I caught cheddar with it. Uh, but she is a sweet girl. And this is her home, so I gotta get her spayed. <laughs> but the summer day I was so busy getting stuff done. I had to go get stuff for the birds and get the birds all situated with grain. Um, mow the grass. Clean all the puppies' rooms. The puppies' rooms, they're not puppies, but uh, all the rooms that have the big kennels in them, I have to go in weekly and a vacuum out mop. You guys have seen those videos before. Um, hi, you little cahoots. I got the little girls out here. They just had dinner, so they're just kind of out here. This They don't normally stay in this kennel, but we were out bebopping around, and there was some traffic, so I didn't want them to run out in the road. So they're just in here letting off some steam, but these girls have gotten big. Yes, these girls have gotten big. They, I... They are pretty good though. I um, won't leash them and I bring them in and out of the house. But I forgot I had left the birds out. So I was like, oh no, we can't walk. So I just put them in here. And I put my I let the birds out earlier to eat the grass. I'm so absent minded sometimes. But I've been mostly like cleaning and dusting all day. So and mowing the grass. So it catches up. But it's such a beautiful day. I really like to be outside on these cold, cooler days. It's really awesome. And all my sunflowers are really doing great. I gotta, I gotta show you guys. I gotta show you my massive, my green stalk one looks like. But these are the ones that I have like a little cluster over here in the garden area. Those are the chocolate ones I've been showing you. And then I have the big traditional, pretty yellow ones. I really like those too. I think they're very beautiful. And then I didn't think I had any of these and they're hard to capture like really how beautiful they are. But these are the teddy bear, teddy bear sunflower seed, sunflowers. My daughter gave me them and I was like, uh, oh, the package does not give them justice. They really are very beautiful. And I didn't realize how short they were. So they're at the bottom. But yeah, I was, I was wondering if they were gonna come up, but they're starting to come up, the teddy bear sunflowers. But my garden is so, overgrown these are all the these are all just uh tomatoes that grew themselves i did not plant any of these but they're all cherry tomatoes so um just let them go i've been picking them off and i've been doing tons of canning um and this is peppers i'm waiting oh i finally have one that's ripened so i did peppers and i've been waiting these are the Oh, if you can see, come on. The Bonnie's lunchbox orange. And the tree is loaded with them. The tree is loaded, but they're actually just starting to turn orange. So I'm excited. I have red peppers. I've been picking out hot peppers. I wanted to make salsa with them. So I have tons of hot peppers. And oh my goodness, wear gloves. Or oh, you're going to have a stinging eye like I did. But... I got tons of peppers. I'm just uh, waiting for them all to ripen because I mostly have orange and yellow. Um, that's the, oh geez, I can't remember the name of it. Okra, I wanted to try. I didn't, I don't even know how big it's, get, it's supposed to get, but I've never had okra, but I was like, I'd like to try it. So, and then this looks like it's past gone, but I have gotten, geez, I just canned 13 quarts and I did 10 quarts before out of this tiny area. So I'm pretty stoked. And then this is the best year I've had for pumpkin so far. Look at this baby. My first big pumpkin. I got another one up there. I had some in here. The chickens decided to peck at them and eat them. So I still have one little one in here. We'll see how big it gets, but I'm so impressed with that. So all in all, I've had a pretty successful year for gardening, I think. And then I had potatoes in the back, in the middle, and then I did flowers on the outside. So the potatoes are all harvested, and now I just have this beautiful array of flowers. 
So I actually think I'm going to keep these raised beds for just flowers because they really dry out a lot for anything else. My tomatoes that I did in the other one didn't do very well. The potatoes did okay, but the, I love flowers, so they're really pretty. I think that that's what I'm gonna do next year in both of them. Hey, what are you out here for? Hey, I already put you in for the night. So we've named her G.I. Jane. Yep, so she was hatched this year. And that's how big she's gotten. Here's the crew. You gonna go inside? Come on, it's nighttime. Come on, girl. Nope, wrong way. I just fed them sunflower. Look how big that sucker is. It's hard to capture it because of the light. But it is humongous. It's probably bigger than my head. So she is massive. It's so tall. I mean, to give you an idea, this is like how big it is up. But that's one of the like, I think they call it mammoth sunflowers. It's or giant sunflowers. So yeah, it's so pretty, but once it dries out, I'm gonna give it to the birds. I love it, sunflowers. But I did just feed everybody. Mr. Peanut's in there. He's got an injured foot, so he's recouping by himself. We've had him for a couple years. But everybody's doing good. The crazy crew. We've even got some baby guineas that got out of. See them right there. Those are little guineas that go back there with those guys, but they get out and they come and eat. Anybody want any geese? Where's Fred? Oh, there's Fred. So, so I finally have everything out of the hatchery upstairs. Good morning, everybody. Francine here at Devoted Danes. I'm outside with my little scoots. Uh, Grizzy's playing with them. I just supervise because they're still the girls are still little. Um, but this week. Um, we did more on our to-do list of trying to get things done before our next breeding, which will be Cheska next month. She'll be bred with Hurley. So we have that planned, and then later on, we will have Nala will be bred with Grizzly. He'll be older then, and she'll be ready. Um, so we do have our lineup going. <laughs> but um, I was going to go over and check on Lexi Lou, give you guys an update, but I really can't. Lexi's parents went to a Kenny Chesney concert and they had such a good time and it's they really needed it It was such a long time and they got a night out and they ended up getting the virus At least Michaela did and she's already had this once so she's very sick um, So we can't go over because I wouldn't want to catch it uh, There's a new strain of COVID's going around and Everybody else feels fine, the babies, but mama's down, so we don't want to go over. But she did send me pictures, and we talk about Lexi, so I'll post a picture so you can see Lexi lose Billy. She's got a couple weeks left. She's doing. She's getting big. I'm hoping to be there to witness the birth. I like stuff like that. These guys are going around and around and around me. But here, we're just trying to get stuff done um, and spend time with our babies. Uh, so this week what we did is our door that goes outside to where I am right now was a beautiful wood solid door. Well, when you have a lot of Great Danes, they scratch on it when they tell us, oh, we want to come in. So we've been here four years and they have managed to scratch their way through the door. So needless to say, it was one of the projects on the to-do list. So we now have a metal door there. Um, and... Um, yeah, they dig, they scratch, they just have a good old time. Um, so <clears throat> let me show you how what this poor door went through. I bet to go. 
And as you can see, this must have been the good spot because they, right, they went right through the door. But it is a beautiful wood, solid wood door, but it's not durable. We had to change out the front door. I think the second year we were here. So this lasted four years, gotta give it that. But we ended up going with a metal door. So they can, I'm gonna, I did paint these white, but they did get, it did get scratched up from being in storage. I've had the door for a while, but it's a, excuse me, a metal solid door. So that was, and this is an old house, so it takes time to install. It might look like a simple thing. It surely is not. Um, what you got, Crazy Wall? Do you have something? Can Mama see what you have? See, this is a good thing about having him. He just had this bone in his mouth. It's a hoof. I went right in his mouth and took it. He didn't. He didn't say a word to his mummy about it. He's a good boy. That's why we love our Griswold. He's a fabulous. I can't wait to see his puppies uh, this winter. I've been interacting in Grizzly with a lot of the girls because he will be their stud. Huh, handsome. Yeah. So, another thing that we've had is our tractor. As you can see over there, was in the shop for three weeks. So, it kind of uh, delayed all progress um, for the dog area. It um, had a hydraulic, no, had a hydraulic leak that we got that fixed. It got a new serpentine belt, but it also had something else. My husband said it doesn't run right. Um, what do they call it? A turbo boost. The turbo was off on it, so it spent three weeks in the case shop. So you can imagine that put us behind. Uh, and it is expensive, but that is a big investment to our our farm it does a lot here for us besides just doing what you see so we definitely needed to make the investment and get it fixed and get it fixed before we went any further so that's what we did what's up handsome mm -hmm. so I got the girls out like today with Grizzy it's in the morning so this is kind of our morning routine but we're just you know getting them more socialized with Grizzy he will be their their mate one day not anytime soon because they're babies but yep 